it has been forever feels like since I've made a video and that's probably because it has been forever except my last video where I announced that we are getting a hedgehog and I'm so excited um so changes in my life I moved to Missouri got married and I am now going to a huge church, the Life Church. I've always gone to like kind of a smaller church. Um, first church I went to averaged probably around like 50, 60 people. And then second church averaged 100, 150. And this church, I'm not really sure on the average. I just know it's so big they have to have two, like, two services. Um, and I absolutely love it. I've made friends in Missouri. The weather is wonderful. And I love, love my, my amazing husband. He's, he's the best. He's my biggest supporter. And I love our home. And I love just everything about Missouri. Um, I was talking to my doctor yesterday, uh, telehealth, and I was like, you know, you can go in a gas station and the bathrooms actually are clean. The roads, there's not potholes and the Walmarts aren't like super sketchy. Now, maybe I live in a part of Missouri that that just is the way it is. But I I was I was just amazed. The sides of the roads don't have like broken beer bottles on them and broken glass. And I love it. I love Missouri. And uh, we were talking, my doctor and I, because I have had a small flare up in my seizures. And I was like, I don't get it. I was like, I'm so happy. I am the happiest I've ever been. You know, so why, why am I experiencing seizures? I don't feel boxed in anymore. I don't feel like I have limitations on my life. I feel like with God, anything is possible. You know, I don't know where God's taking me in life, but I'm so excited that I'm down this road. So why am I having these flare-ups? Why am, why am I experiencing these, these seizures when I'm so happy? Like, I, d I don't understand. And um, he told me that there's this thing called good stress. And basically, you can be stressed about stuff and be super happy and everything's going good. But you're stressed because... Basically, everything in my life changed. I mean, I moved, I got married, um, new church, new new environment um, that I'm getting used to. I mean, I lived in Mississippi my entire life. Uh, that, that was all I knew. And he was just letting me know, while I might not feel stressed, a lot of changes happened all at once and he was just letting me know like hey you're you are thriving I can tell by your attitude he's like I've never seen you this happy um we talked some more and this is what I wanted to touch on so basically, little seizure flare-up, no big deal. Um, it's just the pharmacies 
and getting the whole name switched over to what my name is like because when you get married your name changes and then there's a whole lot of doctor stuff that goes on and you know you're just everything switches and so we're still working on that and uh some aspects of my life my entire life i felt boxed in and like i couldn't like like there were a bunch of limitations on my life and it had a very big impact on how I acted and on how I perceived my life because I looked at my life and said, oh, well, I have epilepsy. I can't do that. People boxed me in, you know, like, um, you, you can't do yada, 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 because you have epilepsy. Should you really do this because you have epilepsy? And it was just this constant thing I heard. And I never thought, honestly, I'd, I'd even be able to get married, you know? And then I found this amazing man, or rather he found me, who loved me and loves me, supports me, and is always there for me and helps me through life. Because I thought I would be like 32 and still living at home. And that wasn't the case. I moved out, even though it was only a couple doors down the, sh the street. I, I moved out. Um, thanks to my mom, I was able to do the long distance dating and driving, meeting in the middle because I can't drive, uh, moving my things, uh, up to Missouri, just this whole process, it's been God showing me the barriers that he can he can break down and it has truly been a freeing experience seeing God work in my life and show me that I'm not I'm not disabled and the word disabled there is the word able, okay? And there are limitations to my life in the sense of, yeah, I can't drive. I mean, I've already had two seizures in this video. Um, they may have been short or long, I don't know, because I was unconscious, you know? So it's like, there are limitations, but I don't feel boxed up anymore. I feel free. And with this freedom, I'm like, I, I just go for a walk and I'll just thank God for every, every good thing that he's given me. I, I couldn't have asked for a better family to marry into. Um, not only is my husband the love of my life, but when I married into this family, I I just felt like I gained a, a whole new family and they're amazing, every single one of them. And I'm probably sound like I'm bragging right now, but I'll dial it back a notch. I'm, I feel so lucky and so blessed to have gone through what I went through. Um, Y'all might have remembered 
those of you who have known me a very long time, um, when I was paralyzed and couldn't move and was sleeping on the floor on a mattress, that only lasted three days. But let me tell you, three days of not being able to walk will make you get out of bed every single morning to this day <laughs> and thank the good Lord for your legs. And that's one reason I love going on walks or jogs because I couldn't move my legs and it was very, very scary. It makes you appreciate every single good moment in your life. And it makes me appreciate the little things, the big things, the good. And when bad things happen, I can look back on my life and realize that, all right, back in, I don't know, the year 2017, we'll go with that year. This bad thing happened, this bad thing happened, this, you know, but look at all the good that came out of it. Look at what God did in my life because of those things. And I'm so thrilled for this adventure. I know that um, a lot of people in Mississippi shoot me messages and they're like, we miss you and we love you and I miss y'all and I love y'all too. Um, but I want y'all to know that every single prayer y'all sent up for me and every single message of encouragement that you spoke into my life and that you gave me helped me through and got me to where I am today. And I love Missouri. I'm happy. It was a scary thing. Honestly, I had a moment where um, I was like, will I be able to make it in Missouri? Well, will I be able to do this? It was uh, very, you know, kind of intimidating because I I'd felt boxed in, but I feel like that box has been broken and I'm finally living my fullest um, in, in Christ and also to the fullest that, um, epilepsy allows me to still can't drive. That one's kind of a bummer, <laughs> but one day I'll be able to. And until then, I thank the Lord for everything that he has allowed me to do. And I think God for my loving husband who is such an amazing man, talented and so kind and selfless. And I could go on and on about him. This video could last for about 24 hours if I <laughs> said everything I would love to say about him. Um, I... I just feel very, very blessed and very, very happy. All my doctors have said they've noticed a change in my behavior and my, um, I guess, the way I, I am. And they're like, you, you, you're, you're free. You're free. And that's something that I wanted to share. I'm finally, I finally feel a freedom that I didn't feel in Mississippi. Um, and I finally feel, I, I, I feel a closeness to God that I've never felt before. So as I grow in Christ and as I um, 
my daily walk with him. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. And, um, if you are feeling discouraged, if you're going through a bad season of life, um, cause I've gone through many <laughs> different surgeries, different procedures, ER visits, you name it. I've probably been there. <laughs> Um, it gets better. It gets better. And life teaches us lessons that we don't, we don't like going through the bad stuff. We don't. But in the end, it is a very teachable moment. And, um, looking back, it's amazing to see what God brought me through and where I am today. And I'm, I'll am still have struggles and battles. I mean, if life never gave me that, how can I appreciate the really good moments, you know? Um, God's still working on me. And I... I don't really know. I just, my doctor said I finally broke the box. <laughs> and that's a big step in the right direction. So, I love all of you. Thank you so much for your kind words of encouragement and also prayers. And I will try and, uh, I will try and to keep y'all updated. Life is kind of crazy right now still with being newlywed and getting all of life figured out <laughs> or trying, but I'm going to try going to try. So much love and thank you. Mwah. <laughs>